what's up, yo? This is it's a crazy day today. So I got a chaser in. This is pretty crazy considering the fact that I've never worked on one. It, it's just I'm speechless. I'm honestly speechless. Never, never. If you told me a couple years ago, hey, you you have your own shop and you're gonna be working on chasers, doing alignments and height adjustments, I'd be like, you lying. Nah, I don't probably believe you. But anyways, just another day. What's up, Marcel? Getting some beautiful flicks of the whips because it's raining today. It's a beautiful day, but it's raining. I just seen a motherfucking rainbow nip. I ain't that motherfucker thug down, nigga. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. My baby mama probably at the end of that bitch with her gold dick and ass, nigga. It's like, and it's not cold. So, like, I'm just down to work. So, I'm going to just set up the camera and just work. Okay, so right now what I'm doing is I already broke loose the collar. Uh, the threads are a little bit crusty. So, what I did is I just kind of cleaned them up with this wire brush and some WD-40. It's kind of customary that you do this every single time you're going to adjust because when you're pushing all that down, all the coil is doing is just eating all that dirt and crud and stuff and it gets seized. So that's why a lot of people have seized coils. I don't know if you guys can see it. Like, Fuck you! Get that fucking goddamn camera out of my face, you asshole! You guys see all how it's like kind of crusty up here, but down here it looks nice and clean. So that, that's all it is. Just maintenance your coils, guys. Sometimes it happens. Older cars, you know, after a while you need to service your coils. But Marcel's car on another beautiful day. What you got going on, Pippin? Trying to see how the fuck I'm gonna take these sides for the Bruh. This thing is gonna go crazy. Do you have to cut out? Well, the parts where the pins are, like the indentations. This right here. On this one right here. And then the cut. Pretty much. Where this whole indentation is at, I'm gonna cut that out nice so it fits flush. I can be like a. Oh, oh okay. I see what you're saying. That, so you're gonna just. Yeah, so that one and then the front too. So I'm gonna cut where that indentation is at. Because I like how that shit bulges out. Yeah. I, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Chop the top off. Shoot. Dude, actually, that looks perfect. And what did these come off of? Uh, EM2. That's insane. I got them on the Facebook Marketplace for like 60 bucks. But come on. Let me get them hoes. Yeah, I'm up for like 140 or something, I think. That's crazy, bro. You don't have to have crazy money to be building some crazy shit. Mm -hmm. I'm trying the cheapest shit to build the craziest shit. That's right. <laughs> That's right. All right, a little update. So I already lowered the other side. I'm lowering this side. I already got it measured out to match. What I did is I just broke loose everything and I went from here, looked at it and I said, okay, is that about a half? It is. And that's what we're gonna go through. So i uh, just gonna lower, I'm gonna spin this this way and it's gonna go down about finger width of space, my finger width of space and uh fitment should be good i'll show you the other side but i kind of want you guys to see it like once it's all on the ground ooh, 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 ooh. Looking good every day i exercise ooh, i might not sleep for 48 straight hours i'm not gonna lie i wish he had 19 because this car just with the kit me and my son were just talking about it with 19 is perfect 18s, you gotta do it without a kid. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm sorry, I just don't like wall dudes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the turtle again. The bleh. <laughs> <laughs> so right now I got the, the chaser looking right. At least the front of it. That's a lot better. Came in with the same front, same as the rear. You guys can tell the difference right there. There's. What do you think of the fitment? I really like it. So I think I'm gonna just lock in the fronts like that, torque them down, and then we're gonna hit lunch. Mm -hmm. Lunch time, baby. Lunch time. Lunches. Mm, where your swag? Uh -huh. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> A 
later that same evening. As you guys can see, that 4.6 Camry, rotors are a little minked. So right here. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck, man? Bolt right here, right there. Basically, that bolt is called a cam bolt. What you do is you adjust one side, which is that side, and it has a adjustment lever. And like an adjustment screw right here. You loosen this side. Listen up, liberal. You break that loose and you turn this way. And this will allow you that adjustment of camber out or camber in. Um, right here, you loosen this one and you're able to adjust from here. You spin this way or this way and it'll pull the arm out. You don't want to go, if you only have lower arms and you don't have an upper control arm like this and your rear wheel drive, you do not want to go over negative like, I'd say negative 10. Did you hear that? because then you run into axle popping issues and you don't want that. You need a rear upper control arm if you're gonna run over a negative 10. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this guy back on the floor. Oh, what are you doing, Marcel? I don't see how to run through, man. Just going step by step, hopefully this shit works. <laughs> what is it? Some cheap ass uh, JB Bro panel bond type shit. Oh, okay. We'll see if it works or not. Then I'm gonna get some actual good panel bond from Online. There's no no stores have it out here, bro. I'm trying to, trying to get it shipped and stuff. Yeah, wait weeks and shit. Yeah. Like, this don't work. No, I'm just gonna hit it off and shit. And you're trying to mold those to that with the panel bond? Yeah, if this is fiberglass, so I can't like do you know special. <coughs> blend it out with plastic. <coughs> yeah, so unfortunately you can't plastic weld it or anything like that, so nothing like that's gonna work. But he'll figure it out. He always does. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and put on the rest of the car and then I'm gonna get it on uh, stand so I can uh, go ahead and align it. True. All right, so I went ahead and finished it up. I just got it. It's at, it's stuck in the rears, actually a lot. It's actually, it's pretty crazy. Tuck in the rears a little bit. It's kind of on an incline, so you can't really tell. But yeah, so that's gonna be the fitment for now until he gets front canvas. Can the, the, the. <laughs> until he gets some stuff for front camber. If he's able to get front camber, then I could get his front fitment a little bit better. But for now, it doesn't look too bad. I actually really like it. It's got like a nice drift, you know, little setup. Looks like he could go swing this shit whenever he wants. It still has some style. All right, so it's another day. The chaser ended up coming back because the exhaust ended up breaking. So it was rubbing against the drive shaft. So what I did, I dropped it a little bit lower, but it was hanging too low. So what we ended up doing is uh, this uh, flange right here was ended up, uh, there's no bolts in it. So I took, them, I took them apart, put new bolts in, new hardware, Dude, it sounds good, looks good, and it doesn't rub on the drive shaft anymore. Let's see if I can. You guys hear that? That's the clutch. I might stall, to be honest. Pull this man! No! Yep, yep. This this clutch is like really intense, so I will not be surprised if I stall again. Yeah. It Brother, this guy stinks! Just. <sighs> because I drive stick every day <laughs> and I stall every day okay so after that little test drive um, there is a little bit of rubbing on the differential or not the differential on the actual drive shaft so he's gonna have to take care of that I couldn't I only got it to like barely clear I there's nothing else I can really do. If not, it's just gonna keep breaking. But damn, that rear fitment is perfect and that front fitment is perfect, just enough for that kit to clear. And then you guys are probably wondering, where's the skirts? He said he took them off so we could jack it up easier. And it was awesome, honestly the best. Guys, so I went ahead and uh, for that chaser, everything was fine, everything's been good. 
He's all cleaned up and buttoned up. I appreciate you guys for watching the videos. Sorry for all these scattered, you know, long time periods in between the videos. I'm really trying to get better. My New Year's resolution is to be better at these videos. Um, I recorded a player's ball video, but I'm not going to release it because there's not really any content from it. And we fucked up player's ball. It, <laughs> yeah, we, <clears throat> we fucked up player's ball. So uh, I'm, if you guys want to see it, you guys can ask for it. I'll probably release like some deleted footy one day. But yeah, genuinely, we're going to keep on moving from here on forward. So um, I'm recording a couple videos. This is the just a sneak peek of what's going on. Um, but yeah, appreciate you guys for watching. And uh, you got anything to say? Uh, shit, bro. That's it. That's it. Shit, bro. <laughs> shit, bro. Nose looking like Scotty Pip. Million dollar missions. I'm driven by pain and sellers. Going in 60 seconds. That shit be here. That's my engine. Now my name in movies, the credits, but I ain't in it. I ain't even started, my interest is gonna be vicious. Double parking business, we treating forms like rentals. I throw your bitch on the track like instrumentals. Niggas should've listened, crash course the fast.